This is my Lightning Arrow build from earlier in the league, and I made two changes. I replaced Lightning Arrow with Storm Rain, regular Storm Rain, not the alternate transfigured versions, because um, they're expensive and they're not all that helpful. I like having multiple arrows. And then I got rid of my Nimis for uh, Kikazaru, which is incredibly cheap and gives uh, you know good amount of life regen and curse uh, resistance. Also, with this setup, you do not need chain on your quiver. So a chain quiver with good explicits, horribly expensive, horribly overpriced. Uh, Nimi's horribly overpriced. And so um, the lightning arrow setup, what benefits from all that, the returning projectiles and so on, of course, is the fact that uh, you don't have to aim. It just goes everywhere. What's nice about Stormbrand, as you can see, it also just goes everywhere. Here's a 40% delirious map. And so this is poor man's lightning arrow build, in my opinion. You don't have to worry about the specialty ring. I think Nimus is the pronunciation, by the way. I just call it Nimis. You know, Harvest, it's fine. This is a tier 16, 40% Delirious. It could do 60%. It starts to struggle on 80%. I did try 80%. It could kind of do it, but it did die a few times. And so I do think the lightning arrow setup with the Nimis is better with the chain. Uh, it's better, but this is a great, like, maybe leak starter, or if you just want a cost-effective build. I'm gonna go through the gear a little later. It's the demo of the content. And again, because of the area of effect, you know, this sort of toxic rain, uh, you know, effect, where it just kind of splatters arrows everywhere, but they're lightning-based. You can reference a lightning arrow build and just replace it with storm rain. And you don't have to worry about any returning projectiles, you don't have to worry about chain, you don't have to worry about fork, you don't have to worry about pierce. You just get this area of effect, and again, I like the original version, even though it's uh, much cheaper. It has less damage than the transfigured versions. There's two transfigured versions. One allows up to 10 arrows, and one allows only two arrows, but with scaling damage. This is the one that allows up to 100 arrows, and you can see why. It's it's cool looking, it's fun. It's um, you know, pretty close <laughs> to the lightning arrow setup. Most expensive part of this build is this right here. Uh, getting this is going to be hard without the multiple fractures in 3.25. Uh, you can make the body armor yourself. It's Hunter, Warlord influenced. Uh, it does require a couple awakened gems, which costs a little bit. But in the meantime, until then, you could put in not awakened, of course. And then you can make the helmet yourself. It's just double influenced. And uh, you can get a quiver with all these kind of explicits. And replace cold damage to attacks with physical damage to attacks. Get rid of chain. Would make life much easier. And everything else, uh, just good stuff. You know, good gloves, good shoes. Get your reses capped. Get flat damage. Get crit. You know, you can get a better ring, potentially, with, like, added lightning and more crit multiplier and more life. But you don't have to. This is a setup, of course, I did with the triggering, mana forged arrows. You know, it is a couple clusters, which none of which are unaffordable. The watch's eye I have is actually very good and very expensive. But, again, cost-effective version, uh, still viable, and something to consider, especially at League Start.